Welcome to the wonderful Wednesday Shave of the Day. Hey, Eric here with Adventures in Wet Shaving, and welcome back. It's good to see you. If this is your first time here and you're interested in learning how to straight razor shave, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Then click on the bell next to it to be notified when I upload videos. That way you won't miss a thing. In tonight's shave, I am using my Wade and Butcher for Gentleman Juice. And this is just a big old beautiful razor out of the mid-1800s. Smiling Blade, Barber's Notch, and it is a wedge. Very nice. Yep. And for our soap tonight, Frank from uh, Strike Gold Shaves sent me this sample of Nixon. And it is my impression that this is a limoncello, which is excellent. Really interesting. Quite a good scent, by the way. So I'm looking forward to that. And I've had, I have put some of that in a bowl and I've had it blooming just like normal. This is the way I do it. So now I'm poured that off. We're going to put that on as pre-shave. Yep. And let's get doing it. Oh, wow. What a wonderful scent. I do enjoy the lemons and citrusy. And this with the limoncello, I think that's pretty unique. So that's cool. I like that. And now for our brush tonight, I'm using my Omega 10,098. Yep. So let's get that brush loaded up. All right. How you doing? How's your week? That's the question. How's your week? You've been having a good week? I hope so. Yeah. Has the world been treating you well? And, uh, you know, things going your way? Are you in high spirits? Yeah? I hope so. And I hope you're having some great shaves. At least good shaves, right? But great shaves would be wonderful. So we can, uh, you know, always... We can always do any kind of shave. Not a problem. But if we could get a good shave to an great shave that's even better absolutely yeah and hopefully you're well yeah gotta have your health so important without that got nothing got nothing all right i think we're pretty much there on this so let's find out i have made my traditional mess so let's go ahead and get that off of that bowl and we're going to put that on right off the bat just continuing on with the pre-shave yep and really good scent I think this one is I think it's unique I don't think I've ever had anything quite like this yeah there we go now i get those hands rinsed off and we we'll get them dried off good there you go look at that oh yeah got her loaded up now let's just get this thing going And work that in. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Nice. Very nice. Oh yeah, 
Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. That's good. And look at the sheen, look at the sheen on that. That's amazing, right? Really good. There we go. Now, this is pass one, so that's mainly gonna be with the grain. And let's get started. Let's do this. that just took it right off so good excellent so really seems to have good cushion And that smiling blade gets right in there so well. Oh yeah, check that out. Great cushion, really very nice. Wonderful scent. I can't say enough about that. Very nice. Okay. There we go. And keep in mind, I do these Shave of the Day videos every Wednesday and Sunday. So stop by, check it out. Look at that. Nice. What a wonderful shaver.
There you go. And again, wonderful cushion. Quite nice. Works really well with the straight razor. There you go, pass. One complete. Yep. Well, good. Let's see how we did. Get that rinsed off. Oh, nice. Yep. Good first pass. Definitely. Definitely good first pass. We'll get this handle a little less soapy that way I can hold on to it yep now let's get our lather on and I do shape of the day videos like I say on Wednesdays and Sunday but on the first and third Friday of each month I do shave related videos and I get those from you. So when you put your question or comment or suggestion for a Straight Razor Edge Friday special in the comments of this video, I will go ahead and film that and get that out for you. And then that way, uh, not only will you get the answer to your question, but everybody else will too, which is cool. So if you want to be more of part of this community, go ahead, just down in the comments. Feel free to give me a, a question, a suggestion for a Straight Razor Edge Friday special. All right, and we'll do it for you. Yep, we'll go ahead and get it filmed and put up. That's where the Straight Razor Edge Friday specials come from, from you guys. So it's very important that you, yes, you right there. Yeah, go ahead, put something in the comments and I'll give you a shout out as well. And it's all about community. So you can actually look in the comments yourself at some of the other comments that people have left and it could help you quite well. Uh, I, I have a lot of wonderful subscribers and viewers out there that leave great comments with tips and tricks to help everybody. All right, now this is past two. It's going to primarily be against the grain here, against the grain here and on my chin, and then on the sides of my neck, that is going to be across the grain. Let's do this.
Here we go. Nice. Yeah, this razor really does get that chin. Probably the best out of all of my razors. Gonna switch up that handle. Now this is the first time I've used this uh, particular shave soap as well. So I may not quite have gotten the uh, water to product ratio quite as well as I could have with a little bit of practice, but so far so good. All right, as far as slick, it seems like it is slick enough, definitely, which is good. There we go. Pass two complete. Very nice. Yep. That was good. Really good. Let's go ahead and get that rinsed off. Oh yeah. Oh nice. Yep. Cheeks right where we want them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next up. The half pass. All right. And this is primarily going to be against the grain on my jawline and my neck. Oh, yeah. We got more than enough soap, which is nice. And again, a wonderful scent. Just really does, has a wonderful scent. Now, there's that. Go ahead, dry those hands. 
and let's go ahead and do this. So I reach around, grab my ear. Just like that. It's all about stretching. Oh yeah, nice, really good. Okay, now let's switch hands. Yeah, and there, there's a good amount of slickness that I feel with this. Um, we'll, uh, you know, I'll have to look at it a little bit more. Yeah, I'll be trying this soap again as well. Uh, I always do anyway. All right, there we go. Another shave in the books. Mm -hmm. Now let's get that rinsed off and. We're gonna check. Oh yeah, nice. Oh, really nice. Okay, now it has pretty good, pretty good slickness. Um, just residual thick slickness. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I can go back and clean up a little spot here or there uh, with this. So that's that's good. All right. Now, get everything wet. And now room everywhere. And I dry that off. There we go. Next up, there's Lemon Witch Hazel. This is going to go well with the Limoncello of the Strike Shave Gold, Strike Gold Shave. Mix it with that cella. Mm, oh yeah, that will work. That will work. You know, I'm, of course, just going to put that everywhere, just like normal, okay? And we're going to top the shave off with Nivea Post Shave Balm, okay? This does also have a 
slight lemony, like citrusy hint in it as well. So that'll work. All right, there we go. Now, Frank, thank you so much for sending me this sample. I really appreciate it. And I'm gonna give it another go again and we're gonna keep going with it. Now, you can also go up here and see a full straight razor shave, pre-shaved, post-shave, everything in between, all of it, okay? Um, the whole nine yards, all right? Thank you so much for stopping by, watching this shave. Really appreciate you and all you do for me. Click right over here to see my latest video. Click down here on a video specially picked out for you. Click over here on me, subscribe, like, comment, share this video with your friends. Have a great shave and a good day. And I will see you next time on Adventures in Wet Shaving.